and uh, chatting to Rudy Rico here with me right now. Uh, Rudy, you're one of the committee for the Patat Fierce, is that correct? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, what is your specific portfolio involved with the Fierce that's coming up? Well, we, we've been asked, uh, and I think it's, it's, it's more because of, of the family's creativity than my own, but we've been asked uh, to, to be involved with the, with the decorating of the main road and then also with the arranging of the uh, art route. Um, and then we've got the uh, uh, kiddies um, uh, pavement art uh, competition as well on the Saturday. Right, so there's quite a combination of things. And just, sorry, I'm jumping slightly, but you're very new in Napier, of course, so you've really been brought into the whole mix of things very quickly, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. We, we, we've been around town for a while. I, I work uh, in the city, but we, we've recently, about a year or so, had opened up Rick Creative uh, Art Gallery and then brought uh, Ulrich Rick, my brother, in from Cape Town, and he works on site, um, and we've got a various amount of artists in the gallery as well, so yeah. Okay, that's why, because I know that uh, you knew your involvement in the Patatfius is fairly recent, but it certainly looks to me like you've jumped in boots and all, and you're really very involved with it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be very fun. We've, we've, got a lot of, we've got a lot of stuff planned. The one very fun thing that we're doing is we, uh, we've got uh, the cutouts like you would, would have seen at the old carnivals where kids can stick their heads through uh, to take, for their parents to take photos. That we'll actually have, we've got ten of them, really big, bright ones, um, and most of them are quite, quite humorous um, that we're going to be placing with various businesses along the main road. Um, I've heard about those yeah. and I was going to get to them just now, so, yeah. but that, to me that is very, very exciting and I think a fun element and that's what the most important part yeah, is. Yeah, I mean the, the thing about it is that, you know, the, the road race has always been important and been the backbone of, of, of the Patatfias, but there are a lot of people that, that, that come, the family members that don't really get involved in the race and, and often times there hasn't really been a lot for them to do, so yeah, we're hoping to... That, but, also, what, what interests me is the art route that you've put together for this year. Yeah, I mean, we've, the businesses in town, not, not specifically just the galleries, but the businesses that have got places, interesting items for sale, all of them have come on board. And if you start down the bottom in town at the Moussa Farm Store, they, they've actually got uh, Lynette Leroux uh, is going to be painting as well on the Friday uh, in, the, in the farm store, and, and her artwork will be, be exhibited there. We go a little bit higher up in town, we get to my scut, um, and she's got a, a mix of antiques and interesting items and stuff, and so she'll be open as well, and all of these businesses will be open until 7 o'clock on the Friday night. That's um, also great. Yeah, so, and then with Recreative, we've got um, Andre Ferri, a local artist who will be painting in the gallery on the Friday, as well as Ulrich Rick, who will be working on whatever his next project is in his <laughs> workshop next door. And possibly Ilza Nell, a local artist, will also be painting with us um, on the Friday. And then a little bit higher up in town, we've got um, uh, Napier All Sorts, where um, Leon will be casting his chess sets uh, until Those are very night. interesting as well. Yeah. And then higher up, we've got uh, the gallery where Helen Vale will also be working in the gallery. Uh, she's a, a well known artist. Uh, and the owner of that gallery. And then uh, high up, Alan Robenheimer from the Toy Museum has got his museum. The Toy Museum will be working and, and will be open until 7 that night. And his steam powered boats, of course. And his steam powered boats, absolutely. And then at Vindigo, uh, they have got a, 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 because they are the agent for the uh, Nubuntu candles, so they'll have some of the ladies painting their candles um, uh, as part of the art route where people can see how they do it as well. Okay, and they're all going to be open till 7 on Friday and I assume the whole day on Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. And then obviously Greta's place, she's also into antiques and stuff that she'll have there, but uh, uh, we're trying to see if we can still get an artist to work with her, yeah. Oh, that would really be fantastic. Yeah. But that sounds fascinating. So there's lots planned, lots happening over there. Another uh, item you mentioned a few moments ago is the kiddies pavement art. Yeah, that, I think that's going to be quite fun. We, we're going to do at the APSA Bank, they've got a nice big piece of cement uh, paving um, on the Saturday afternoon. Uh, times, I must be honest with you, I think it's at 3 o'clock. No, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock it starts with the, with the uh, parade. 
and um, it, it seems like we've got a lot of interest from the from the from the uh, people that will be doing the um, the amazing race as well. That's uh, that's not something that I arrange, but they've got a whole bunch, they've got a race similar to the one you see on TV, right? For, for local kids, um, and so hopefully we'll have quite a lot of contestants. And basically, it's it's the pavement art that, that we used to when we were kids. We you'd basically uh, have chalk and, and do a competition, and we've got. Um, uh, Art Attack is going to be sponsoring some of, of the of the prizes uh, for the kids, and then uh, the Napier uh, Media House is going to be sponsoring all the talk for us. And so that should be quite a fun event. Yeah, that sounds like lots of fun, and also a good way of keeping the youngsters entertained and occupied for an hour or, or, or for a while at least. Yeah, absolutely. Just because of the time slot as well, a lot is going to be happening in the main road at that time. So uh, you know. Uh, People coming for lunch. We've got the massive parade going through town. So and then and then yeah, I think it'll be exciting. exciting. It sounds like it. Any other special things that you've got up your sleeve for us? Uh, well, we'll be putting some some really interesting and funny um, large uh, 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 scarecrows made out of those big bales at the entrances of town and through town. And um, yeah, I, know, I, I think f from that point of view, we've also got on the on the Saturday. Um, a local potter, Andre Mini, will be uh, will be doing a, a potter's wheel display at Recreative as well, and then all the venues that we mentioned previously, obviously they open the Saturday and the Sunday. So yeah, I think everybody's going all out to try and make people feel welcome. It sounds like it to me, and certainly from an art point of view and an artistic side, if I can refer to it as being your portfolio and maybe your speciality, I think you've really. Sounds like you've put together an amazing program, so best of luck on all of yeah, those. Thank you.